Now, if you look anything like a Paul brother, keep your eyes peeled because the streets are hot. Now, I'll be demonstrating the MMA fighter, and this will be the poor victim on, on the side of the street. Back up. That's my video. You yeah, can't be in my video, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Shh. Welcome back to jakeselfdefense.com. There's plenty of madness going on in the world today. So why not talk about one of the main purveyors of that madness in Jake Paul? After all, he's been trying to prove for some time to the world that not only is he a real boxer, but that he deserves to be treated like one of the best boxers in the world. That's kind of hard to do when not many in the boxing world respect you, and you go out of your way to insult boxers and MMA fighters on the regular. And to prove that, not only does he have his next opponent lined up, he's already making fun of him. We'll break it down for you. But first, be sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and hit the bell icon so you never miss an upload from us. And with that being said, let's get straight into the video. Do you want to win an iPhone 12? Maybe a MacBook Pro? How about $500 cash? All you have to do is comment the secret hidden message somewhere in this video. That's it. Oh, and leave a like on this video and subscribe to the channel so we can keep affording these giveaways. Winner will be announced at the last day of each month. Thanks for watching and good luck. Jake Paul versus Nate Diaz is official. Back up. That's my video. You yeah, can't be in my video, Dad. <laughs> 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 All right, guys. <laughs> Welcome back to jakeselfdefense.com. Let's start off with the fight itself that we know is happening later this year. Jake Paul and ex-UFC bad boy Nate Diaz will compete in a boxing match August 5th at American Airlines Center in Dallas. Today we're going to be teaching you what to do if you see a homeless Stockton man trying to come at you in the middle of the streets. The bout will be contested at 185 and is contracted for 8 rounds with 10 ounce gloves. The pay-per-view bout will be distributed globally by Dawson. The event will be a 50-50 collaboration between Paul's most valuable promotions and Diaz's Real Fight Inc. Now, if you look anything like a Paul brother, keep your eyes peeled because the streets are hot. Now, I'll be demonstrating the MMA fighter and this will be the poor victim on, on the side of the street. It will be the first time Diaz has ever promoted himself. The first time he'll fight outside the UFC in 15 years and his first career pro boxing match. Whoa, well, I really don't want any problems. Please leave me alone. I don't want any problems. I don't give a fuck, man. Oh, so I got him in this uh, chokehold now. Diaz has competed in some of the biggest pay per view events in UFC history, and Paul has been trying to showcase his boxing skills for years now. Jake Paul already thinks he's all that and a bag of chips. And what you're going to want to do is take out your safety snorkel and insert the snorkel for extra airflow. He's not, but he'll never admit that out loud. But no matter your feelings on the two, make no mistake, this is a grudge match through and through. Diaz and Paul have exchanged trash talk on social media and in interviews over the past 18 months. So now that you're able to breathe during the chokehold, you're going to escape and punish Run away. You're going to run away. JakeSelfDefense.com In October, during a boxing event headlined by Paul and UFC legend Anderson Silva, Diaz's team and Paul's team got into an altercation backstage. And Paul challenged Diaz in this post-fight interview after defeating Silva. Diaz has typically fought in MMA at 155 and more recently at 170 pounds. Paul has fought as heavy as 191.5 as a pro. He weighed in at 183.6 pounds for Fury. Paul, who's 6-1, lost his first career boxing match in his last bout to Tommy Fury, the brother of heavyweight great Tyson, back in February via split decision. The Ohio native who trains out of Puerto Rico is undefeated against MMA fighters, including Silva, Tyrone Woodley, and Ben Askren. He beat the latter two by knockout. Paul has only been a pro since 2020. My last fight didn't end the way I wanted, but the result was the best thing that could have happened to my professional boxing aspirations," Paul said in a statement. Now the world thinks I'm vulnerable, when all I am is more focused than ever. My team wanted me to take an easy fight like KSI next, but that's not how I'm built. Nate Diaz is considered one of the most badass fighters of all time, but he and his team have been running their mouths for too long. Wow, a Paul brother talking about someone running their mouths too much? There's a lot of irony in that. Diaz, who's 21 and 13, fought out his UFC contract with a submission win over Tony Ferguson at UFC 279 in September. 
The Stockton, California native handed Conor McGregor his first UFC loss back in 2016. Diaz has headlined 10 UFC events and won the Ultimate Fighter 5 tournament in 2007. He's one of the most popular fighters in MMA history and is a former sparring partner to top boxer Andre Ward. Besides Canelo, he's the biggest thing in boxing, Diaz said in a statement. I'm here to conquer that. I'm the king of combat sports, and then I'm headed back to get my UFC belts. I fucked up Conor for acting out, and now here I am again, like a superhero of the real fight game, the king of the real fight game. Diaz has made it known that he plans on returning to the UFC in the future with a McGregor trilogy fight still on the table down the road. Paul, meanwhile, had talked about a Tommy Fury rematch next, or the aforementioned bout with fellow YouTube star KSI, but Paul v. Diaz was too big of a matchup to pass up. Jake's star power and popularity continue to command massive audiences worldwide. Most Valuable Promotions co-founder Nakisa Badarian said in a statement, His most recent bout, Paul V. Fury, surpassed more than 800,000 pay-per-view purchases and was a commercial success for all our partners. Jake remains one of the most avidly followed fighters in the sport, and all eyes are on him, wondering what's next. Well, what's next is one of the most vicious men ever in the cage. No other fights have been announced for the event. Though given the bad blood between the two teams, it wouldn't be surprising to see Paul and Diaz teammates on the undercard. Nate's departure from the UFC made him the most sought after free agent in combat sports history, with all eyes looking to see what his next move would be, Real Fight Inc. president Zach Rosenfield said in a statement. In choosing to make his boxing debut against Jake Paul, Nate found an opponent where there is an organic, non-scripted backstory that motivates him and will clearly capture the excitement of the audiences throughout the world. Excitement might be a bit of a stretch because of the love-hate relationship with the Paul brothers. If nothing else, many will watch to see what Diaz does. After all, Nate is representing MMA, and many in that community hope he takes down Jake Paul. And that'll only be added thanks to what happened recently, Jake and Logan's video. You see, Jake Paul wasn't going to miss a chance to take a shot at Nate Diaz. The two are scheduled to box one another on August 5th, as we noted earlier. But Diaz is already back to making headlines as he was involved in not one, but two altercations Friday evening at a Misfits boxing event in New Orleans. Diaz threw a water bottle at reality TV star Chase Demour during the event, and then later choked a man unconscious in a street fight. Paul, alongside his brother and fellow fool Logan Paul, posted a video on Saturday making light of the situation and jokingly explaining how to survive a run-in with Diaz. Today we're going to be teaching you what to do if you see a homeless Stockton man trying to come at you in the middle of the streets, Jake says. Now if you look anything like a Paul brother, keep your eyes peeled, because the streets are hot. In the clip, Jake plays the role of Diaz, including a shaky imitation of the former UFC star, while Logan works to defend himself against the choke, utilizing a snorkel to stay conscious before escaping the situation. While we're sure the brothers find this oh so hilarious, there are some things that they kind of shot themselves in the foot with, not the least of which is that Jake Paul had an encounter in the streets recently, and he didn't do any jokes or try to be tough. Instead, when he was confronted by Floyd Money Mayweather outside of a Miami Heat game, he turned tail and ran. Sure, he claimed he was outnumbered 50 to 1, but he didn't try and defend himself, so this only further proves that he's kind of a hypocrite, stirring the pot. So why do this in the first place? That's easy. This is one of the trademark moves of Jake and Logan Paul. They do all their best work when they're talking smack, and then try to use it to infuriate their foes. Unfortunately for them, it doesn't always work, if it's ever worked. Logan has lost more boxing matches than Jake, and Jake claimed to everyone that he could that he would beat Tommy Fury, and he didn't. The antics of these two as we get closer to August 5th will surely grow. So prepare for a wild ride, as that's exactly what they're going to give the people and Nate Diaz, whether they like it or not. And there you have it everyone, a look at the upcoming fight with Jake Paul and Nate Diaz, and how things are already getting stirred up by Jake in an attempt to rattle his foe. Do you think that his antics will do anything to Nate Diaz? Do you feel that Nate will try to respond in some way to make things even more tense? What do you think will happen next as we get closer to the fight date? Let us know what you think in the comments down below, be sure to subscribe, and we'll see you next time on the channel.